uh, dear folks, take your group discussion book. It's in the page number two five seven and two five nine. I think in the entire group discussion topic which we had, I think this is the most important uh, a group discussion topic because it affects your life, our life, my life, their life, and everybody's life. At the age of 25, you get married. Then after the 25 to 28 or 30, after that you live with somebody, and the adjustability and how you prolong your life with that person or with that lady, it says how successful you are. The success of your life depends upon your life partner who you get. So, this uh, topic is uh, the most important I think for everybody. So, let us discuss on this topic here coming back here. See the topic, 64th topic, sex education, sex education and diverse, sorry, um, sex education should be taught in schools or colleges and diverse or on rice and how to maintain a healthy relationship between boys and girls. Sex education in schools, sex education in schools, comma, diverse or on rice. So, these two part topics, how to maintain a healthy relationship between boys and girls. So, three uh, topics we are going to cover, sex education in schools and colleges, then Diverse rate is increasing, how to maintain a healthy relationship between boys and girls, three main topics, all the Eve teasing problems, molestation problems, you know it can be solved. So, first we have to see the points here, number one, to remove the myths, myths means what? You think something which is uh, something great, that is what called myth and the ignorance of sex to remove the myths and ignorance of sex. Sex education should be introduced in the schools, colleges and society. Not only in school, college, the society, the common man also should understand what is sex. The children learn about sex from books. First a child, where does he learn? He, he learns from books, television, cinema, internet, etc., which spoils and affects their mood. They won't be able to study properly and leads them or lead them in unhealthy sexual practices. How do a child know? A child started to know about sex in the cinema where the boy and girl their dancers do it and he thinks okay this is what and he's completely confused from the age of uh, the time he sees the uh, boy and girl dancing or singing or romancing. So, and through television and books, books also you, you won't be able to completely know, cinema, internet, so everything spoils his mentality. So, it is a myth for him and ignorance of sex happens. So, number two, sex is still a taboo in India, taboo means what the society does not accept. A child speaking, a 17 year girl or 18 year boy speaking about sex, it is considered to be wrong. So, sex is still a taboo in India and discussion on it is considered to be in bad taste. In television, newspapers, weekly and monthly magazines, we can see and read the young and old men and women coming out and discussing the sexual problem with specialists. So, nowadays the times have been changing. In television, we can find a sex specialist will be sitting and the quarries will be, he will be receiving from the general public and he will be answering, clearing the doubts. Is it enough? No, I do not think it is enough. And number third point, the duplicate specialists or quacks, duplicate doctors are called quacks, make money because of the unawareness of sexual problems among people. They think people they do not know about sex, so they say Kaya Galp, that, uh, that medicine, this medicine they sell in the streets and they make a huge profit. Sex education is the only cure for boys and girls who are from the age of 13 and above. From the age of 13 and 14, his mind gets poisoned because he do not know what it is. At the age of 13, if he is taught completely what it is, then he would have concentrated on the subject. 
and only during this age the hormone changes happens in boys and girls at the age of 13 and after that hormone changes happens some physical changes happens in the body a child becomes a man a girl small baby becomes a what a girl child becomes a women so hormone changes happens he doesn't know why this happens what this happens lot of things happen in his body so he is totally confused that is the age where the child should be taught about sex education for some parents who are from orthodox families orthodox means what very old families very old in the sense they behave believe in customs and traditions may oppose sex education they won't say they will say no sex education should not be allowed in schools and college but parents should be taken into consideration and they should be given a good guidance sex education at the young age gives the young boys and girls a strong personality at the very young age at the age of 13 14 15 if he knows about a sex if he is thorough about sex his personality develops he becomes a very good personality fifth marriage is an institution just like a it, it is it is a structure it is an establishment which is getting deteriorated means what spoiling day by day the love affection understanding between the couples man and women is spoiling day by day pre and post marital counseling on sex may promote a healthy relationship between spouses spouses means what husband to wife and wife to husband is called spouses so before marriage they need a counseling must and after marriage they need a counseling by the sex doctor or sex specialist or a a uh, gynecologist so next uh, the couple should not go to bed having hatred grudge and ill feeling towards each other <coughs> coming back so here <coughs> sixth point ah uh, there's a hue and cry hue and cry means what people are shouting no no and uh, for introduction of sex as a subject in the schools and colleges when uh, government of india thought to introduce sex as an education most of the families in north india and south india they were against this uh, introduction of uh, sex education the first need for a man is food first and foremost need is food he needs food to eat and the second need is the sex the second most important need is sex so teaching parents teaching sex to their children will result in embarrassment for parents father cannot teach to his son about sex he may feel uh, something awkward a mother cannot teach to a daughter and children to see sex doctor should teach the children about sex related matters so sex doctors should uh, teach the children about sex related matters it's only the sex doctors should teach seventh point sex education taught in a clinical way helps the student to understand the response uh, reproduction process so in a clinical way you have to say what is sex how way man and female join together how the reproduction take place how a child is born so when you teach them scientifically his or her mind won't waver and develops positive attitude in them about sex then they think okay this is what man and man and female is uh, brought up it is not like in cinema where hero in dances and hero dances that is not sex sex is something a child is born through what so he understands a research done by scert state council of education and research training has said that there is a huge support for introduction of sex education sex education in the schools in india so nowadays people are changing nowadays parents want their children to learn because the aids is spreading like anything sexual disease is spreading like anything hiv is spreading like anything so a recent study has told that uh, sex education should be taught and uh, a lot of support is there from the public so gay sex means what a man living with a man sexually lesbian a lady or girl living with another girl or doing sexual acts together transgender means a male changing his sex organ into female and female changing her sex organ uh, into male and becoming a male or a female and bisexual means a man has sex with a female and a man has sex with a man a female having sex with a female and female having sex with a man that is called bisexual sex 
Number first point, sex education should cover the topic of HIV. Sex education, they should teach about HIV. AIDS, STD, transsexual transmitted disease, unsafe sexual practices and all the effects, all the effects of child pregnancy, abortions. If you do abortion, what will happen to your body? Methods of contraceptive, etc. Contraceptive means what? How not to become pregnant? What are the ways to avoid becoming pregnant? So, the child should be taught. Once she or she learns this is what it is all about, the entire mind is clear of him and he can concentrate on his studies. He or she can concentrate on their career. So, everyone has myth about the sex and all enjoy sex, but very few talk about in a healthy manner. Everybody think okay, sex is uh, something a myth and everybody enjoy talking sex, but um, uh, they do not uh, very few talk in a healthy manner. In the day of AIDS, it is the moral responsibility of government to practically teach them in the schools and colleges <coughs> rather than spending crores of money in television and road shows for advertisement. <coughs> Nowadays, what do the government do? What, do, what does the government do? They send a track in that you find lot of pictures, AIDS, avoid AIDS, this is what. In television, they spend crores of money. But what use? Are the children learning? What is that? Even there, they are taught only 10 percentage. What it is it in the board? It is given. But practically, they do not know what is there. So, let they teach government teach to the students scientifically just how they teach biology how they teach computer how they teach history subject they should teach the students and it should have a daily subject on sex only then the students will be knowing about sex not by advertising in the paper in paper and tv so let india not be like one of the african countries where 30 percent of people suffer from aids Terrific, terrific it is. You see the ter percentage is terrific. Out of 10, 30 percent are suffering from AIDS in African country. And future it will maybe 50 percent, maybe 60 percent. Do we want a condition like that in India? What the government is doing is advertisement in papers and television and road shows. It goes only for the elders. Not for the 13 year or 14 year or 15 year when the hormone changes. Those age group are the age group where uh, they should be knowing about the sex. So, now I just leave it to the floor. Let us start the group discussion. What sex education is all about and how we can build a healthy relationship between the boys and girls. Yes, let us start. Yes, madam, you can start. Sex education. Sex, edu sex is a part of a life. Of course, uh, sex education nowadays uh, improving in the schools and colleges, but even uh, some people are taking orientally only, means uh, sex education, what are, uh, what are the causes, uh, what are the benefits, they are not uh, taking by the self consciously, self consciously, they must need the self awareness first about what is sex education and why must we take this. Uh, only uh, in the schools only it is not enough, but in the television we can provide as a skit. We can give as a skit, or not only giving by the ad advertisement, we can give what 10 minutes or 15 minutes short film access, we can give, uh, educate the people uh, what are told uh, in the um, book, uh, means scientifically, practically we can give uh, about the sex education. And, uh, Many, many, many uh, diseases is, is causing the people because of the uh, means uh, unsafe sex uh, uh, relationship with others. Means uh, earlier they don't know what is the sex. So first uh, they have to feed the knowledge about the sex. Means in the in the family also nowadays in modern cities, uh, modern countries. Families uh, become friends, so, uh, mothers and fathers, uh, friends to the daughters and sons. They can, they can explain easily, more explain to the daughters and sons. It's, it's, there is no shy 
orthodox families or before nowadays uh, no orthodox family all uh, friendly and uh, uh, they are not following the cultures so they can explain for, they can get the from the mothers how they are feeding from the mothers they can get the sex knowledge from the mothers more they know parents know so uh, from this way they can collect the message from the to youngsters this is not a problem learning from others it means it is a hormonal changes all the human beings have the sense to feel the sex uh, sense means uh, this is a hormonal changes from 13 it started already for the female or the and the male persons so and in the future they have to learn about the diseases uh, spreads from the sex uh, means uh, mean the hiv human human uh, virus and uh, aids not only the uh, contaminated uh, syringes not only the contaminated blood but more uh, spreading from the sexual trans transmitted via only means uh, they can the hospitals providing contraceptives methods we have to know about the contraceptives methods and uh, illi uh, in means uh, youngster sex sex uh, or pregnancy early pregnancy so the government should stop the abortions before before pregnancy and divorces main causes is divorces means the uh, marriage is the institution which is getting worst day by day not improving uh, marriage life uh, divorce is the uh, main problem in the in present living world means co main cause for divorce is Hundred uh, percent, seventy percentage of uh, females and uh, men's getting divorced because of self satis sex uh, sexual problem means they are not satisfied with sex. So we better they they can go for the pre or post uh, marriage uh, sex education to the doctor or the to the family means counseling. They must take counseling before mar getting marriage also and after getting marriage also. To understand the interpersonal relationship, to develop that interpersonal relationship with the husband, and to get get <coughs> good uh, self uh, satisfaction, uh, so they can go for the sex counselling also. After marriage, also they can go for the sex counselling, and uh, mainly in the villages, uh, lorry drivers and um, coolies. These people also getting more. Uh, misusing the sex means the, these people should know the sex education in the community centers they can give sex education in villages there are many community centers uh, mostly the people getting aids hiv most of the lorry drivers in tamil nadu we have in uh, many namakkal most uh, most uh, uh, lorry drivers found. they are driving uh, lorry night also and uh, day also they are living in without family in another state and they, they they will do what nothing self satisfaction they are going somebody and they are getting hiv easily aids easily so the awareness uh, from this people is uh, main so the government should give the innovative method innovative way to give awareness to the people it's very important and the divorce should the husband and wife should have a good interpersonal relationship means mostly egoism between the husband and wife and the husband uh, likes the wife uh, likes uh, likes of the wife's means uh, all uh, money wise and uh, sex sexual wise many of the people divorce getting um, sexual problem only uh, in interesting observation what Rekha has made is uh, what she says is you know 70 percentage of divers it happens because of uh, uh, non-sexual satisfaction and what she tells us uh, they need pre-counseling and post-counseling maybe the 70 maybe uh, uh, 70 percent may be reduced to 30 percent or 20 percent isn't it once they are going for a sexual knowledge if they have and the myths about that uh, may be completely removed. Yes, what's your point? What's your point, madam? Sex education, sex is a part of life. Sex, sex education is very much essential for everyone. 
Mm, in schools also, se sex education is must. Every teachers, uh, teachers are the responsible person to take care of their children to educate uh, sex education. Um, from the beginning, they if they learn proper way to handle their, then they can lead. They can in in the in, in in, in children's future will be good. Well, Ms. Babani, so, I just want to ask a question here. Is, uh, by teaching sex education to the children, the parents are telling no. Yes. And they justify is if they know about sex education, sex about sex, they may go in for sex. That is what the parents are scared about. What do you think about this point? Yes. Sir. yes. Is there chances of the, is there reasons uh, for the parents uh, why they are hesitant for the children to learn sex at the age of 13 and 14, that is classroom, theoretical. They, they are scared that, okay, theoretically if we teach and the practically they may go in for learning. So, sex education should not be there. That is what the parent side argument. Yes. And what do you think about that? Yes. Uh, there are chances of going? Yeah, some parents, uh, um, some parents are opposed to do like this because the orthodox family. No, no, no. Your point of view, what I am asking is, do you agree or not agree why the parents are scared about that? Do you think the children by learning sex education at the 14 or 15, theoretically they may go in for practical? No, it's 50% um, uh, it's a benefit thing. Uh, it's, uh, during school also, uh, it's... Uh, okay, I, I think by doing an act with knowing is better than doing an act without knowing. Okay, what is that? Whatever it is. Okay, and coming to the point over here, uh, this side gentleman uh, who wants to speak about this topic. Uh, anybody wants to speak? Okay, okay, okay. You want to speak about that? Okay, well, you, your side of you, 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 you want to present anything else? Okay, this side? Yes, you can speak. Yeah, we are all telling about uh, uh, sex education is uh, very must to people especially, high uh, school people and go, uh, college people. Whatever government gives, uh, sex education and awareness to the peoples. Who is willing to do this? Who is willing to follow this? They know about it uh, from their school itself, but no one is ready to follow this because uh, government uh, introduced uh, more medicines, tablets, like so, uh, somewhat. <coughs> so they don't have fear fear to do uh, because they can cure it by uh, by the tablets. And medicines. Today, our leading problems are um, divers. Even they are getting pre and post counseling. Uh, counseling. Women, she is not uh, worried for to do abortion, and men are not. They are not borrow about um, to marry another girl or to pick another girl. So, government should punish who is our most in interfere in. Um, illegal ways as well we know about uh, lesbian and gay sex is mostly happening in college and schools high secondary schools because uh, girls all together are boys all together so that institution make peoples to be very awareness in this uh, sex education otherwise they should punish them there Okay, what is the observation she makes is uh, uh, it's the schools and colleges where they don't have co-education who make their girls together, stay together and the men to stay together. There they get the intimacy because they, are, they don't have chance of speaking with the opposite sex. So, all the lesbianism and uh, gay sex should all be encouraged by certain uh, norms of the government, certain rules of the government. So, everything should be co-educated. Then after that still uh, she makes uh, one other point like uh, uh, this, um, whatever the rules and systems are there, uh, they come to know about the sex education through friends. But uh, through friends, it depends upon whether friend has experienced a bad experience or good experience. If it is a good experience about sex, she will teach about uh, good things to her. If it is a bad experience, she will get a bad knowledge about sex. It may be biased. So, it is uh, without any partiality, who can teach? It is only the government can teach scientifically with the proof. So, learning through the friends, I do not think uh, it can uh, teach a girl or a boy what sex is all about. Okay. What is your point? 
Sir, you raised, raised a question that uh, parents, many parents uh, don't agree in the school level about the sex uh, tea education is not necessary, some that they have idea. But uh, what I see that the, the parents should be educated, I think so. They don't have the proper sex education. Though they have, they had, but they are to be educated if they say that uh, sex education, maybe introduction of uh, sex education uh, in schools and colleges will create lot of problems. I think it is because of ignorance only they say. The, we may say that is fear is there though. It's only up to the uh, mental blocks that they have, you know, it has to be treated. And uh, one more thing, that is sex, immediately what people uh, have the idea means uh, it is uh, sacred, holy, myths, uh, taboos and all one side. Other side, it is impure, unholy. Uh, nobody wants uh, to talk about that, too shy, they, if you speak about uh, sex, then you have no manners, then these are all the tendencies uh, in today's culture we see. But what I would like to say is, that, and also our culture, our custom and tradition also, something interlinked, connected with this uh, sex, uh, so it's... Uh, uh, the sex education is a must, not only for the children or uh, boys and girls, it's also for the parents, <laughs> we should have a correct and a right understanding of sex. The second point I would like to say that, that for the teen age boys and girls, uh, sex education is a must. It creates a strong personality. It creates the positive attitudes. It creates, it shows the right way, the right understanding of their life, their birth, their the motivation, where to go, how to go, and all these things. Nowadays we see you know, molestation, EUTC. Eh? What are all these uh, things is that they don't have this sex education. When these teenage boys and girls grew in uh, you know, physical and as well as psychological. If they don't have the right understanding, means surely it will give a negative attitude, a negative influence will be there. If they are in a right understanding, surely it will help them to uh, create a uh, good personality among them. Then another thing that's about the diverse. We have so many diverse. It's better uh, in our culture we have to promote, we have to support the intercaste marriages. Because uh, if they have that means, uh, that what I mean is love marriages. If they have some understanding, if they, if they come to know each other, personally, maybe where they work, where they study, where they live from the houses, towns, villages, it will surely uh, reduce the ratio of divorce. Then, uh, one more thing I would like to say is, uh, in our country, uh, only we see this uh, child marriage. In our country, only we see this uh, child marriage and child widows. It's all because of uh, uh, that uh, uh, we have, it's all because of uh, the idea that we have the parents and our c culture or our society uh, have very less sex education. Because, uh, uh, for example, we say, I know a village, I went to see a family, their village, you know, three days, the girls, uh, the girl, uh, at the time of periods, you know, he was out, uh, she was outside the house. She is not allowed to enter into their house because it is considered as impure, unholy. It is against God. It is a uh, hygienic sense, it's other thing. They are not allowed to enter into the temple. It's very natural, human, and we have to really uh, uh, 
destroy we have to demolish this uh, mental blocks basically from the society then it will be better for a very good indian society thank oh, you wonderful observations uh, some observations mr williams has made yes uh, chair yes told that uh, a parent should be taught sex education uh, it is uh, very sad and disappointing to know some of the uh, you know ladies or gents without uh, getting an orgasm they live a life uh, uh, just giving birth to a child doesn't mean that they have a full satisfied sex life uh, but uh, uh, we uh, americans and europeans and uh, foreigners they demand proper sexual satisfaction from their partners but here the man or women lives uh, as husband and wife for the sake of society even though they don't have the fully satisfied sex life and the second observation which he has made is uh, you know this uh, getting periods and it's all natural why should be they stop from entering temples it's a valid very important thing why should be they considered to be unholy during those days of their menstruation that's an important point uh, which he has made then other thing is uh, as the child one other observation he has made is as the child grows he should be taught about sex education which improves his personality that is true and if not uh, what happens he thinks uh, what the cinema hero and heroine dances that is what uh, love is all about so he has to he thinks himself okay i have to dance like that i have to fight with the boys to get a name and win the heart of that lady so he gets a wrong perception of sex what cinema sex is uh, not even 1 percentage uh, real life sex can be matched in so very good observations he has made uh, um, and um, yes uh, could you would you like to speak about this topic okay gentlemen okay i think uh, we had a wonderful group discussion let us remove the myths and let us request the government of india and uh, since uh, education comes under the state list uh, and central list uh, let both central government and state government teach the good things about sex and what's all about sex and let us uh, make our future generation a healthy and psychologically best uh, men and women most of the psychological problems mental disorders happens because of the sex and its uh, related problems thank you sir and coming back nanbarhale engludeya kootu vivada pusthakam 257 258 9 eduthukollungal 64th topic la sex kalvi in pallikodangalile sex education in schools diverse on race vivaharathukal adhigamaga vandu kondirikkirathu how to maintain a healthy relationship between boys and girls or aanukum pennukum uravu muraigalai eppadi samoogamaga kondu selvathu idhu dhaan topic idhula modhal topic la pathina indha sex indale or myth maayai ariyamai endru makkal nenithu kondirikkirargal sex vande kallurilum kallurigalilum samudayathirkum solli kodukka vendum sex ai edhilund paarkiran pusthagathilund or maanavan alladhu maanavi padikiral டெலிவிஷன் மூலமாக சினிமா மூலமாக இன்டர்நெட் மூலமாக இது அவர்களுடைய மனநிலையை பாதிக்கிறது அவர்களை தவறான வழியிலே செக்ஸ் இன்பத்திற்காக அவர்களை அனுப்பிவிடுகிறது இதுதான் முதல் தலைப்பு ரெண்டாவது தலைப்பு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா செக்ஸு இந்தியாவில் செக்ஸை பற்றி பேசினாலே குறிப்பாக தமிழ்நாட்டில் செக்ஸை பற்றி பேசினாலே அது ஒரு அசிங்கம் கேவலம் என்று நினைக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு கருத்து இருக்கிறது இது டிவி பேப்பரில் டிவி மூலமாகவும் நியூஸ் பேப்பர் மூலமாகவும் பத்திரிகை மூலமாகவும் மாதாந்திர பத்திரிகை மூலமாகவும் இளைஞர்களும் பெண்களும் ஆண்களும் இந்த செக்ஸ் பிரச்சனைகளை பற்றி டெலிவிஷனில் கேட்டு தெரிந்து கொள்கிறார்கள் ஆனால் இது எந்த அளவுக்கு பதிமூன்று வயது பதினாலு வயது பதினேழு வயது பயன்கள் பார்க்க முடியும் ஒரு சின்ன செக்ஸ் சீன் வந்துவிட்டாலே வீட்டில் டெலிவிஷன் பார்க்கும் பொழுது பெற்றோர்களுடன் சேர்ந்து பார்க்க முடியவில்லை குழந்தைகளுடன் சேர்ந்து பார்க்க முடியவில்லை என்று சொல்கிறார்கள் சாதாரண விஷயத்துக்கு இது ஏன் பெற்றோர்களுடன் ஏன் குழந்தைகளுடன் பார்க்க முடியாது இதையவே அவர்கள் பெற்றோர்கள் தவிர்க்கும் பொழுது டிவியில் அந்த மாதிரி நிகழ்ச்சிகள் வரும்போது குழந்தைகளை உட்கார வைத்தா பார்ப்பார்கள் ஸோ அது எந்த விதமான பலனும் ஒரு பதிமூணு வயதிலிருந்து பதினெட்டு வயதுக்கு உள்ள ஆண் பெண்ணுக்கு உபயோகமாக இருக்காது அடுத்ததாக டூப்ளிகேட் செக்ஸ் டாக்டர்ஸ் என்று சொல்வார்கள் அப்போ செக்ஸ் அதிகமாக இருக்க வேண்டும் என்பதற்கு இந்த மாத்திரை சாப்பிடுங்க அந்த மாத்திரை சாப்பிடுங்கள் என்று சொல்லி ஆயிரக்கணக்கான போலி மருத்துவர்கள் இந்த நம்ம இந்தியாவிலே இருக்கிறார்கள் அதற்கு இதுக்கு ஒரே ஒரே என்ன என்ன செய்ய வேண்டும் மாற்று என்று பார்க்கும் பொழுது பொதுவாகவே பதிமூணு வயதுகளுக்கு மேலுதான் சுரபிகள் சுரக்க ஆரம்பிக்கும் ஒரு ஆண் ஒரு ஒரு பையன் ஆண்மகனாக மாறக்கூடிய வயது ஒரு இளம் பெண் ஒரு பெண்ணாக 
முழுமடை அணிந்த பெண்ணாக மாறக்கூடிய ஒரு பருவம் இந்த பருவத்திலே ஹார்மோன் சேஞ்சஸ் ஏற்படும் இங்கே என்ன நாம் சொல்லிக் கொடுக்க வேண்டும் செக்ஸ் கல்வி சொல்லிக் கொடுக்க வேண்டும் அடுத்தது சில சில பெற்றோர்கள் இருக்கிறார்கள் பாரம்பரியமான குடும்பங்கள் ஆச்சர் ஆச்சாரங்களை கடைபிடிக்கக்கூடிய குடும்பத்திலிருந்து வரக்கூடிய பெற்றோர்கள் தங்கள் குழந்தைகளுக்கு செக்ஸ் கல்வி சொல்லிக் கொடுக்கக்கூடாது ஏனென்றால் செக்ஸ் கல்வி சொல்லிக் கொடுத்தால் அதை தியரிட்டிக்கலாக படித்தவர்கள் இவர்கள் நடைமுறைக்கு எப்படி இருக்கும் என்று பார்க்க சென்று விடுவார்கள் குழந்தைகள் கெட்டுப்போய் விடுவார்கள் என்று சொல்லி காரணங்களை சுற்றி அந்த செக்ஸ் எஜுகேஷன் வேண்டாம் என்று சொல்கிறார்கள் அது தவறு இது செக்ஸ் கல்வி சொல்லிக் கொடுக்காததினால் ஒரு குழந்தையினுடைய பர்சனாலிட்டி பாதிக்கப்படுகிறது அடுத்ததாக திருமணம் இதை செக்ஸ் கல்வியை பற்றி ஒன்றும் அறியாத செக்ஸ் பண்ணாத ஒரு ஆணும் பையனையும் இருபத்தைந்து வயதில் அல்லது இருபத்தி ஆறு வயதிலே திருமணம் செய்யும் பொழுது அவனுக்கு செக்ஸை பற்றிய ஒன்றும் தெரியாத பொழுது அந்த ப்ரீ மேரிட்டல் செக்ஸ் என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய திருமணத்திற்கு முன்னாடி செக்ஸ் ஆலோசனைகள் வழங்குதல் திருமணத்திற்கு பின்னாடி நீங்கள் எப்படி உடல் உடல் உறவு கொண்டீர்கள் என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய திருமணத்துக்கு பின்புறம் நடக்கக்கூடிய ஆலோசனைகளையும் மருத்துவர்கள் வழங்க வேண்டும் அது அதே போன்று அடுத்ததாக போ பார்க்கும் பொழுது ஒவ்வொரு பள்ளியிலையும் செக்ஸ் கல்வி சொல்லிக் கொடுப்பதிலே மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு பெற்றோர்கள் எதிர்ப்பை தெரிவிக்கிறார்கள் இங்கே செக்ஸ் டாக்டர்ஸ் தான் குழந்தைகளுக்கு அந்த செக்ஸை பற்றி சொல்லிக் கொடுக்க வேண்டும் அடுத்ததாக ஏழாவது பார்த்தீங்கன்னா செக்ஸ் என்பது ரீப்ரொடக்ஷன் என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய குழந்தைகளை பெற்று போடுவதற்காக என்கிற அந்த மருத்துவ ரீதியான ஆலோசனைகளை மருத்துவர்கள் வழங்க வேண்டும் எப்படி ஒரு குழந்தை உருவாகிறது ஒரு ஆணினுடைய விந்து ஒரு பெண்ணினுடைய முட்டை எப்படி ஒன்றுடன் ஒன்று சேர்கிறது குரோமசோம்ஸ் என்றால் என்ன அனைத்தையும் சொல்லிக் கொடுக்க வேண்டும் இப்போ சமீபத்தில் ஒரு ஆராய்ச்சி செய்தார்கள் ஸ்டேட் கவுன்சில் ஆஃப் எஜுகேஷன் அண்ட் ரிசர்ச் ட்ரைனிங் அவர்கள் ஆராய்ந்து செய்து பார்த்த பொழுது இந்தியாவிலே அநேக பெற்றோர்கள் குழந்தைகள் தங்கள் குழந்தைகள் செக்ஸ் கல்வி கண்டிப்பாக அறிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் என்று விரும்புகிறார்கள் என்ற ஒரு கண்டுபிடிப்பை கண்டுபிடித்திருக்கிறார்கள் அடுத்ததாக பாருங்கள் கே செக்ஸ் என்றால் ஒரு ஆண் ஆணுடன் உடல் உறவு கொள்வது லெஸ்பியன் என்றால் ஒரு பெண் பெண்ணுடன் உடல் உறவு கொள்வது டிரான்ஸ்ஜெண்டர் என்றால் ஒரு ஆண் தன்னுடைய ஆண் உறுப்பை மாற்றி பெண் உறுப்பாக மாற்றிக்கொள்வது பெண் தன்னை ஆணாக முழுமையாக மாற்றிக்கொள்வது பைசெக்ஷுவல் என்றால் ஒரு ஆண் பெண்ணுடன் உடல் உறவு கொள்வது ஒரு பெண் ஆணு ஒரு ஆண் பெண்ணுடனும் உடல் உறவு கொள்வான் ஆணுடனும் உடல் உறவு கொள்வான் அதே மாதிரி ஒரு பெண் ஒரு ஆணுடனும் உடல் உறவு கொள்வாள் ஒரு பெண்ணுடனும் உடல் உறவு கொள்வாள் அதை பைசெக்ஷுவல் செக்ஸ் என்று சொல்வார்கள் இது வந்து இந்தியா போன்ற நாடுகளிலே மைனாரிட்டி என்று சொல்கிறோம் மைனாரிட்டி என்றால் என்ன இப்பொழுது நூற்றில் பத்து பேர் இப்படியாக இருக்கிறார்கள் பத்து பன்னிரெண்டு சதவீதம் என்று நினைக்கிறேன் ஸோ பன்னிரெண்டு சதவீத மக்கள் இந்த இந்த நாலு கேட்டகரியில் ஏதாவது ஒன்று ஒரு பிரிவிலே இருக்கிறார்கள் ஸோ அவர்களுக்கு முழு சுதந்திரத்தை வழங்க வேண்டும் செக்ஸ் எஜுகேஷன் ஷுட் கவர் த டாபிக் ஆஃப் ஹெச்ஐவி எய்ட்ஸ் எஸ்டிடி செக்ஸ் பற்றிய கல்வி இந்த ஹெச்ஐவி எஸ்டிடி எய்ட்ஸை பற்றி சொல்ல வேண்டும் அது அன்சேஃப் செக்ஷுவல் ப்ராக்டிசஸ் அப்போ அடுத்ததாக ஒரு சைல்டு ப்ரெக்னன்சி ஒரு குழந்தை பதினேழு வயதுக்குள்பட்ட ஒரு பெண் குழந்தை அவர்கள் பிரெக்னென்ட் ஆனார்கள் என்றால் அவர்களால் வரக்கூடிய பிரச்சனைகள் அடுத்ததாக அபார்ஷன் அபார்ஷன் பண்ணுவதால் உடலில் ஏற்படக்கூடிய தீமைகள் அடுத்தது மெத்தட்ஸ் ஆஃப் கான்ட்ராசெப்ஷன் கான்ட்ராசெப்ஷன் என்றால் கருத்தடைகள் எதெது கது கருத்தடைகளை உபயோகப்படுத்த வேண்டும் என்பதை சொல்லிக் கொடுக்க வேண்டும் அடுத்ததாக அனைவரும் செக்ஸை பற்றிக்கு ஒரு மாயாக இருக்கிறது வெறும் பெரிய அதிசயமாக பேசுகிறார்கள் ஆனால் அனுப அனைவரும் அனுபவிக்கிறார்கள் செக்ஸ் எப்படி இருக்க வேண்டும் ஆனால் ஒரு சிலர் தான் அதை பற்றி ஆரோக்கியமாக பேசுகிறார்கள் இந்த ஏய்ஸ் உலகத்திலே எல்லா அரசாங்கத்துக்கு மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு பொறுக்கு பொறுப்பு இருக்கிறது அதை அந்த ஏய்ட்ஸை பற்றி அல்லது இந்த செக்ஸை பற்றி விழிப்புணர்வுடன் மாணவர்களுக்கு கல்லூரியிலும் பள்ளிகளிலும் சொல்லிக் கொடுக்க வேண்டும் அப்போ டெலிவிஷன் மூலமாகவும் ரோட்டிலே வண்டிகள் மூலமாகவும் அரசாங்கம் கோடிக்கணக்கான பணத்தை செலவிட்டு ஏய்ட்ஸ் விழிப்புணர்வை கொண்டு விடுகிறது அது எந்த விதமான பிரயோஜனமும் இல்லை கல்லூரியிலும் ஸ்கூல்லையும் பாடமாக அந்த ஏட்ஸை பற்றியும் செக்ஸை பற்றியும் சொல்லிக் கொடுக்கிற வரைக்கும் எத்தனை கோடி ரூபாய்கள் சினிமாவிலும் டெலிவிஷனிலும் ரேடியோலையும் செலவு செய்தால் அது யாருக்கும் எந்த விதமான பிரயோஜனம் இல்லை அது யாருக்கு பிரயோஜனம்னா ஏட்ஸ் வந்தவர்களுக்கு பிரயோஜனமாக இருக்கும் ஏட்ஸ் வராதவர்களுக்கும் பதிமூன்று வயதிலிருந்து அப்பொழுது தான் வயது வரக்கூடிய வந்திருக்கிற ஆணும் பெண்ணுக்கும் அவர்கள் அறிந்து பலன் அடைய முடியாத ஒரு வாய்ப்பை ஏற்படுத்தும் ஸோ இந்த ஏட்ஸ் இல்லாத ஒரு உலகத்தை உருவாக்குவோம் ஆப்பிரிக்காவிலே முப்பது சதவீத மக்கள் ஏட்ஸால் பாதிக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறார்கள் இந்தியாவின்
செக்ஸ் என்றால் ஒரு பெரிய மாயாஜாலம் மந்திரம் என்று நினைக்காமல் அதுவும் ஒரு சாதாரண ஒரு நிகழ்வு பயாலஜிக்கல் நீட் என்பதை அறிந்து கொண்டு அவர்கள் படிப்பிலும் அவர்கள் கேரியிலும் அவர்கள் செலவு செய்ய வேண்டும் என்று சொல்லி இந்த டிஸ்கஷனை முடித்துக் கொள்கிறோம் தேங்க்யூ